Hello and welcome to my video all about how to make t-shirt yarn. In order to follow along, you're going to need a cotton jersey t-shirt. You'll need to find a t-shirt without side seams and remember that the bigger the t-shirt, the more yarn you can make. Also try to find a t-shirt that's either plain or has a motif only towards the top of the shirt. If the motif becomes part of the yarn, it will stop the jersey from curling up correctly. You could probably get away with a faint pattern or a design that just has lines and no solid blocks of colour, but plain jersey is best. You'll also need some sharp scissors and a tape measure or ruler. The first step is to lay the t-shirt out on a flat solid surface. Then you need to cut across the t-shirt from one side to the other through both layers. Do this just under the arms or just under the motif, whichever one's lower. Also cut across the bottom of the shirt to remove the seam. Make sure that both of these cuts are parallel to each other so that you get a neat rectangle. Then rotate this rectangle by 90 degrees so that the open edges are now on the left and the right and the closed edges are at the top and the bottom. Measure across the width of this rectangle and decide how you're going to split it up into even strips. My rectangle was 34 centimeters wide, so I decided to split it into 17 two centimeter strips. You might need to use a calculator if you've got an awkward number to work with. And remember, you don't need to use all of the fabric, you can trim off any excess. For example, if your rectangle was 29 centimeters across and you wanted three centimeter strips, then you could discard two centimeters of fabric on one side. 1.5 centimeters to two centimeters is the narrowest strip I would recommend. But if you want something much chunkier, then you can make a much wider strip, up to around five centimeters or so. Next, use your scissors to snip into the fabric along the bottom edge to mark the width of those strips. I made a cut every two centimeters. Then cut vertically upwards from each of these cuts. Make sure that you cut through both layers, but on each cut, stop a few centimeters or one inch from the top edge of the fabric. Try to keep the strips as parallel as possible, but don't worry too much, they don't have to be perfect. Now, if you lift up the fabric by the top edge and separate the two layers, you'll find that you have a single layer of jersey that's about five centimeters wide, as shown here. You'll need to cut this area of jersey diagonally to complete the strips. Here you can see I've drawn on some dashed lines to show you what I mean. The first cut that you make will go diagonally from the very edge of the fabric to the inner edge of the first strip. As a result, the second strip will join to the first strip on the opposite side, the third strip will join to the second strip on the opposite side, the fourth will join to the third, the fifth will join to the fourth, etc. Make sure when you do this that you only cut the single layer of fabric and that nothing else gets caught in your scissors. You should then have something that looks like this, which is one long strip of jersey. To finish the yarn off, you need to turn this flat strip into a more rounded, yarn-like shape. All you have to do to get this effect is to stretch the jersey along the whole length of the strip. Do this bit by bit. As you can see here, when you stretch the flat jersey and then let it go, it contracts back into a kind of tube shape. Once you've done this along the whole length, you can then wrap it all up into a ball. I personally ended up with a ball of yarn about nine centimeters wide. And that's it, you've now made yarn from a t-shirt. I really hope you found this tutorial useful and thank you very much for watching.